Donald Trump is feeling very safe in his position uh, thanks to uh, the conclusions of the Mueller report. But should he though? I think there are two reasons why he should not. One is that we still haven't seen the Mueller report. That was a trick opening. Okay, we saw the bar memo, that's it. We still don't know what's in the Mueller report, so don't listen to people in suits like me pretending that we know what's in it. It's gonna come out on Thursday, and maybe we'll know then, but maybe not, because it's gonna be redacted heavily. But more significantly, there's still a lot of politicians that are willing to hold his feet to the fire and do take seriously the various crimes that he has committed. AOC is one of those people, and she was on uh, the Skullduggery podcast with Michael Isikoff, and the question of impeachment came up, and uh, here's what she had to say in response to a question about him advising border officers not to follow court orders on uh, migrants. This is largely a part, uh, largely a question for our leadership. I think it's this is a very grave problem, but there are so many aspects to this presidency that have that have posed a grave problem. Is it impeachable in your view? I I think you could reach in a bag and pull so many things out that are impeachable of this president. I support impeaching this president. Okay, and uh, immediately after that, she was asked to reach into that bag and begin pulling things out. So let's see her top three reasons why th she thinks Donald Trump should still face uh, impeachment charges. I think number one is emoluments. Mm -hmm. I think it's always been emoluments. I think it's always been about that for me. Mm -hmm. um, two and three? Two and three. Um, I think two would be uh, tax fraud. Mm -hmm. And number three, um, man, I mean, number three, <laughs> if there's an investigation on this, I think this is pretty potent. And the this that she's referring to there is uh, the reports that he told border uh, patrol officers to not follow the law or follow court orders. Um, if more and more of that starts coming out, perhaps we will see an investigation around it. Now, that's not to say that Donald Trump doesn't have defenses against these various charges. The DOJ recently said that Trump hotels are uh, immune from concerns about the emoluments clause because they totally have the constitutional authority to do that. Psych, no, they can't, what are you talking about? You can't just say that one business is immune because obviously he's violating that clause in it. We know that, that, that uh, foreign governments have been purchasing up blocks of apartments in there to curry favor with Donald Trump. You can't just say that uh, hotels and tapas bars, they're, they're immune, like you don't get to determine that. The constitution is the constitution. Um, but I think she's, she's so right that there are a number of different areas that we need to continue to investigate, not just because it might lead to Donald Trump's uh, justifiable impeachment, but also because it's in the best interest of the American people to know what's actually going on. If, if he is telling Border Patrol officers or perhaps government officials in other areas not to follow court orders, we do need to know about that. That is an incredibly dangerous precedent to set and could be incredibly dangerous in terms of its consequences in any one area. And so I'm glad that there are people like AOC who are in a position to continue these investigations and to continue to hold him accountable for what he's saying and doing. Thank you very much for watching this clip from The Damage Report. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and ring the bell on YouTube to get notifications of our new videos. And of course, you can catch the full Damage Report live every weekday at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific on TYT Network on YouTube TV.